Hello everyone, MC Tammer here with a quick uh, tips and tricks video on how to easily create decals for armor and objects in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Let's say you've got uh, this cool new power armor that you've made and you want to add uh, uh, some kind of insignia uh, to the pauldron or to the uh, to the chest plate. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use the uh, Brotherhood of Steel logo, but you can do this with any decal you want. Uh, like if you've made a custom one uh, yourself, uh, you could do that just as easily. But since the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel uh, Steel decal already exists in the game, I'm just going to use that one. Uh, so load up your um, archive extraction tool and open fallouttextures.bsa. And we want this one, textures slash armor slash power armor slash BOS decal dot DDS. Click extract. And I'm just going to extract it to my working folder here. And it's the Brotherhood of Steel decal, as you would expect. Uh, keep a note of this texture path. We're going to need it again later. So I'm not going to close this. I'm just going to minimize this. And what we're going to do is load up this mesh in Blender. So the easiest way I found to make decals is to copy the surface that you want to uh, add your decal to. So all the faces that make up uh, the surface that you're adding your decal to, you should copy because these faces have already been rigged to the skeleton. Uh, so they're already properly set to move uh, with the rest of the armor. So if we copy this, we will not have to mess around with rigging or weighting uh, or assigning vertices or anything like that. It's already been handled for us. So uh, we select the, the faces that we want to copy. So in this case, the, the surface of the pauldron. And then you press Shift D to duplicate the faces, and then enter. And now you'll see that we have a another copy of, of that surface. So all I do now is offset it slightly, just slightly so that it doesn't clip with the, with the actual armor itself. And then I press the P key to part it out and click separate selected. And I'm going to do the same thing with the torso here. Uh, don't need so many. Okay, that looks good. Again, Shift D to duplicate and then enter. And then just offset it slightly from the mesh and press P to part it out. Separate selected. And now we can retexture these faces with the, the decal that we want. 
So uh, hover your mouse here in in the uh, the gap between these two windows. Uh, right click and select split area and split the top window in two. Then here in the uh, the window type icon, click that and choose UV slash image editor. And then select uh, the piece that you want to edit and uh, press tab to enter edit mode. And then here in image, click open and find the uh the decal that you're that you're going to use now to uh select all of the uh the vertices in our in our mesh uh you can press the g key to grab and uh, and then just move your mouse around to move it and press s to scale until you can position it uh, where you like. And back in the uh, in the 3D view window, you can press Alt Z to preview what the uh, what the final thing is going to look like. And now we can see here it's actually been rotated. So we're going to have to rotate uh, the the unwrapped faces here. So you press the R key for rotate and then just move the mouse around until it's uh, in the right position and then we're going to just fine-tune this again maybe I can make this a bit smaller alright that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to press Alt-Z again to get back to my gray view so I can see what's happening. And deselect. Exit edit mode. Now we're going to do the same thing for the torso. Image. Open. And load our decal. Scale this up. And I'm just going to see how it looks right now. All right, that looks good to me. So now what I can do is close this window, select all the objects in the scene, and export as a new mesh. So now we can open up our newly created mesh in NIFScope and we're going to have to fix the texture paths because uh, the game doesn't know yet to use uh, this Brotherhood of Steel decal. Right now it still thinks it's using the, um, the texture for the, the power armor. So we choose our node here. Uh, go to the BS Shader PP Lighting Property branch. Expand that and click on the BS Shader Texture Set sub-branch. And these are the paths for the textures that it's currently using. And we want to change this to this path. So textures slash armor slash power armor slash BOS decal dot DDS. And uh, we have to copy, we have to change the, this bottom one as well. Uh, 
In this case, the, the decal comes with a normal map, BOS decal underscore n dot DDS, so we can just use that. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna, before we, before we fix the transparency, I'm gonna do the same thing for the, the torso. Okay, so now we can fix the transparency so that only the white part of the logo shows up. Uh, the, the quickest way to do this is to just copy the alpha, the, uh, nigh alpha property, uh, branch from one of the gore caps. So right click on that, block, copy branch. And then in our decal node, right click, block, paste branch. And as you can see, the blue has gone away, leaving only the white decal. Do the same thing for the chest. And there you have it. Save your mesh. And now you can test it in-game. So that concludes this tips and tricks video for how to easily create decals for armor and objects. I didn't go over how to do it for an object, but the idea is the same. Load the mesh in Blender, copy uh, the surface that you want to place the decal on, retexture the decal, and then bring it into NIFScope, change the texture path, and add an alpha property. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, Feel free to uh, leave a comment on the uh, Tamer's Guide to NIF Bashing uh, mod page on nexusmods.com. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, happy modding!